Wow, that was nice. My bike would have bogged down before that, before doing the Weisco piston and the uh, the V Force reed block and the uh, FF uh, the FMF gnarly pipe. So I did a top end rebuild on this bike, the 2000 CR 250R. Uh, it was hard to start. Uh, piston was worn. The reed block was the reed valves were uh, the reeds were basically chipped and broken. So the bike was just not building compression and uh, super hard to start when it finally started after kicking it over for like an hour. No joke. It, I, I, I've come out here trying to go riding and just gave up. So did the top end re uh, rebuild and this is my first ride. And holy cow, dudes, this bike freaking rips. My bike has never made this much power since I've owned it. Um, I know the reed, the reed valve had some power and uh, the, MF, the FMF gnarly pipe will add some, definitely adding some lower end to the uh, power band. And it just rips up top. I mean, it just freaking rips. I'm like quarter, quarter throttle. <laughs> if, I, if I put full throttle, this bike would loop out from under me. <laughs> that was like not even half throttle. <laughs> That's great. My bike has never made this much power. It would have stalled right there before. At that low RPM, it would have stalled right there too. Oh wow, right there, it just blocked and kept going. That is amazing. That is amazing. The power band on this bike now is freaking phenomenal. Wow, I am super stoked. I'm extremely happy with the, with the results of this uh, rebuild. So I did a Weissco piston and uh, the V-Force 3 reed block and, and reeds and uh, the FMF gnarly pipe. That's all I did to it. And I can recommend all three of those uh, those parts for sure. The install was pretty easy on the piston. Now I did come out here and break the bike in a few weeks ago. I came out and uh, was just tooling around on the fire road down at the bottom, um, doing the doing the heat cycles of uh, you know just kind of taking off from a start, going through the gears all the way up to fifth, and then like slowing down and then turning around. There is a break-in procedure that the instructions tell you to do. Very straightforward, simple. <clears throat> this is my first time riding for real in probably three years. No joke. I have not been out here in the hills in a few years. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, been, been way too long I will say just been you know life getting in the way just a bunch of stuff in life You know, the top part of the climb, you're losing momentum and the, the motor starts bogging. And you have to, uh, you need that low end to stay strong. And my bike would stall. I mean, I would just, it, it would bog down and it would just die. And uh, 
coming up that climb just a little bit ago. Yeah, man, it just it just chugged in that low end. It was chugging hard. You know, I've always wanted a uh, a Husqvarna for that very reason. Watching like watching Graham Jarvis, you know, in his uh, enduro. Uh, races and he's just going up this stuff just chugging down low and the bike would just pull without problem you know just smooth and buttery where is that fucking idiot <laughs> jesus <laughs> i can look away for one second and he disappears oh squirrel <laughs> uh Everybody yep. remembers remembers Mark, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. How does it feel? Oh, freaking a, dude! Phenomenal, phenomenal! Holy crap! I've been I've I've given it half throttle at most. You know what I mean? Full throttle would just would it was it would just I just spin out from under me. <laughs>